This is Olivia Osgood, and you are listening to the How to Quit Working Show. I'm glad that my mommy's an entrepreneur, so that we get to spend lots of time together, and she gets to homeschool me. This is the How to Quit Working Show. Jeff Steinman believes entrepreneurship is the only true path to freedom. That's why he created the How to Quit Working Show, where you'll hear stories, insights, and inspiration from lifestyle fanatics who left their soul-sucking 9-to-5 job forever. Now, here's your host, author, entrepreneur, and ultimate lifestyle fanatic, Jeff Steinman. Hello and welcome to the How to Quit Working show. This is Heather Osgood, the host of the Friday segment, and I'm so glad that you're with us here today. That was my adorable little daughter, Olivia. I hope that you um, liked it. Um, I think she's super cute and it's super appropriate for today's segment because today I'm going to be talking to you about how to create a family-friendly business. I have struggled with this for many, many years, as I'm sure many of you have. If you're a mom or even if you're a dad and you maybe have smaller children or maybe you even just have children, period, if they're still living at home, this is such a challenge. Creating a family-friendly business, creating a family-friendly environment for your life is really, really hard. And so I just want to tell you a little bit about my story and where I'm at with it, and I hope that, that you get something great out of it that it really resonates with you. When I started my trade show production company, which was really the organization that I have built that I devoted most of my time and energy and passions to, I had a nine-year-old son. And he has been by far the easiest child that I have had. And was just, you know, he's just been super compliant and just really, really an easy, wonderful kid. Not that my other two aren't, but um, he was really an easy kid. And He was really accustomed when I started the trade show production company to being in school all day. I had him in before and after care programs, and I had come from working many, many hours in corporate America. And when I started the company, he was down for it. You know, there was really no um, transition period between me working 50 or 60 hours a week at my advertising job to creating the trade show production company and going to working 50 or 60 hours a week doing that as well. And, um, you know, life was pretty good. We had our challenging days as a family, but hey, every family has a challenging time. And I was good working that many hours and he seemed good with me working that many hours and life just went on. And then I decided, um, my husband and I decided that we wanted to have more children. And when my trade show production company was a couple of years old, I had my daughter, Olivia. And it really just changed everything for us. <laughs> um, and then a couple of years later, I decided to have my son Tanner. And that really, really changed everything. He was a really, really difficult baby for me and continues to be a challenging toddler. And it just, it was one of those things where all of a sudden I just said, I I can't do this anymore. I'm not I'm not able to really give the business all of the time and the attention and the energy that I want to give it and really have my children and and really run everything the way I wanted it to to run. And that brings me to my my first point which is really really important and that point is is that when I created that company, I didn't have any sort of a lifestyle blueprint. I was accustomed to working many hours in corporate America and that's how you did life. And when I created a business, I was really trying to create a business that was identical to the companies that I had worked for. I wanted to create a big company. I wanted to have lots of employees. I wanted to have our name and lights. I, I, I desired to have this massive organization that really, along with that, comes a lot of responsibility and a lot of needs, a lot of people that have needs. And that equates to working a lot of hours at the company. And truth be told, I wanted to work a lot of hours in the company. I enjoyed feeling important. I enjoyed feeling like I was in charge and that I was the leader of the organization. And it was really important to me to be viewed as that. 
And when I felt like I had this real challenge where I wasn't able to spend the time that I wanted in the company and I wasn't able to spend the time that I wanted with my children, that created this really deep sense of dissatisfaction within myself. And that all derived from the fact that before I started the company, I didn't get clear on what I wanted in life. I knew that I wanted children and I I obviously I had one, but I knew I wanted more children. I knew that I wanted a bigger family and I knew that I had a desire to do things like homeschool my daughter. I knew that I had a desire to spend a lot of time and to really be a very important driving force in my children's lives. And I didn't feel like with my first my first son that I had the capacity to really be the type of mom that I wanted to be. But I didn't consider any of that before I started my business. I didn't consider the needs of the company. And, you know, so that's really what what brought me in large part to the idea that I should sell the organization and that I should move on to something different because really it just wasn't fulfilling the lifestyle that I wanted. So before you start a company, it's really, really important to look at what you want in life. And if you want a family-friendly business, if you want to integrate your children into your lives and create an environment where you have the capability of being really present in their lives, really think about that and think about the organization that you're creating, the structure that you're creating for your business. And if you set something in place that is going to need a ton of hours, then you're going to get something that isn't really giving you that opportunity to be present with your family. And I just think back to a client that I talked to um, a, a few days ago, and she was really interested in starting a bed and breakfast. And as much as I love the idea of how fun it would be to have a bed and breakfast and how how neat it would be to have this organic garden that you you know farmed and then serve that food and um, she was talking about doing beekeeping and all of these awesome things that would be so much fun but that would be really really time consuming that would really not allow for you to ever leave your company it wouldn't allow you for t- for you to take long vacations or for you to really maybe um, explore something you would have to be tied to that business and if if that's the lifestyle you want, then by all means, do that, create that. But if that's not the lifestyle that you want, then you really have to examine whether or not you would want to create a bed and breakfast. And as much as it feels very idealistic to me to create a bed and breakfast, it doesn't go along with my lifestyle blueprint. It doesn't go along with what I want my day-to-day life to look like. So I would never do that. And in the same way, I know that creating this business, I could never create something that is going to require me to have this massive organization as long as I want to be present with my family. So you just really need to get clear on what it is that you want in life. And when you know what you want in life, then you can create that business that really does resonate with your lifestyle goals and your plan. And for me, that goal and that plan was that I really wanted to be present with my children. So I want you to first really examine that. Next, I want you to look at really compartmentalizing your life and and how that compartmentalization is really creating a lot of chains for you. I realized that I had my life so segmented that there wasn't really any overlap. And when you have children, there needs to be overlap. Children are very needy. And if you have children, you know this. <laughs> but when you have this system of life where you wake up in the morning, you go to the office, and then you work at the office. And then when you're done with the office, you come home and you're present with your children, and then they go to bed, and then you're with your spouse. Really, you're creating all of these barriers in your life. You're creating these, these you know, capsules where in that time period, you are focused and you are dedicated to only working on this one task. And that's part of the reason why a lot of individuals want to quit their jobs and start their own business because they want to have that movement. They want to have that flow. They want to have the seamless transition between being present and working in their companies and being present with their children or being present with their spouse. So when you're thinking about really creating a family-friendly environment, I want you to try and get away from those barriers. I want you to try and get away from that compartmentalization and think about having this flow in your life, having this, this picture that really just seamlessly goes from one activity to the next. And while I'm working, 
I'm probably going to have my kids come in from time to time. Um, certainly, I do have focus time when I'm really just dedicated to the the business creation tasks at hand. But I also I have my kids. They're going to come in, and they you know maybe they're going to get hurt or they're going to have an issue, and I'm going to need to stop what I'm doing and take care of them. Now, obviously, my husband is overseeing them and and caring for them while I'm actually in my business creating activities. But I still am their mom and and they know I'm here and they want to come and they want to talk to me and they want me to be present and I want to be present with them. And so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them coming and going and um, really this activity throughout the day. And part of the reason I'm okay with that is because this is who I am. This is my life. And I am an entrepreneur and I am extremely passionate about business and I'm extremely passionate about being an entrepreneur, but I love my children and I'm dedicated to them and I love my husband and I want that. I want that organic experience in my life where I have this real blur of lines and I have this experience where I can go from activity to activity. I might be you know, in in my business creation mode for an hour, and then I might go to homeschooling and do homeschooling for a few hours, and then maybe it's nap time, and so I come back, and um, you know, while my children are resting, I do another hour of business creation, and then when that's over, I go back to being present with my children, or making dinner, um, or maybe taking a walk, or going to the beach. So it's it's th- that element is huge for me. And I really, I don't believe in a work-life balance. There's this this mythical <laughs> creation of work-life balance that I, I just don't believe in. I don't think that it exists. And you're never going to get to a place where you say, I'm in perfect check. I have worked for eight hours and now I'm going to spend eight hours with my family and everything is going to be just perfect because I dedicated my eight hours to work and I dedicated my eight hours to my family and now everything is just peachy. Life just doesn't work that way. You have times, especially when you have children, and especially when you're trying to run a household, where things happen. You get crazy situations on your hands because maybe your toddler decided that it would be fun to flood the bathroom or... Perhaps your your six year olds decided that she wants to take all of the clothes out of her closet and dump them on the ground. You really just have no idea what's going to happen in life. You don't know when your child is going to get injured. You don't know when your child's going to get hurt, and you don't know when there's just going to be those opportunities, the, those moments when you want to stop what you're doing and really focus on your children. One of the things that's just super near and dear to my heart is my six-year-old is just a naturalist and she loves being outside and she loves the birds and the the bugs and everything that happens in our backyard. And the other day she ran in and she goes, mom, there's a red-headed songbird in the backyard and you have to come take a look. And I was able to be present for that. I was able to drop what I was doing to go outside and to really listen to this beautiful red-headed bird sing and that meant a ton to her and she's been talking about it for weeks she's been drawing pictures it's really really important to her and I have the capacity to be here for that because I've created an environment where I have the ability to have a seamless transition between business creation and and being present as a mom. So if you're really thinking about creating a family-friendly business, I want you to really think about that. You may not be building the next... Um, you know, Google, or maybe, you know, you're not building this massive organization, but that's okay. At the end of the day, right now, I'm okay being present with my children, knowing that maybe I'm not creating the very biggest and the very best business that I possibly have the capacity of creating, because I'm choosing to be here and be present with my family. So think about really taking down those walls and taking down and getting rid of the compartmentalization of your life. Um, Next, I really want you to think about running your household and running your life like a business. When it comes to bills, when it comes to meal planning, when it comes to housework and yard work, think about putting processes and systems into play because that integration will be allowed 
to be to be created and to happen. You have systems and you have processes that happen in your business. And when you're able to marry those systems and processes with your household, then you're working together as a unit. You're able to really batch activities. You can pay bills all together, whether you're paying household bills or whether you're paying your business bills. Do them at the same time. If you're thinking about creating a schedule or a plan for the week, make sure that you've got the integration of all of your home activities and your business business creation activities all in one place. So frequently in the workplace, there is this um, division. And I had friends when I was working in corporate America who had a family calendar and a work calendar because they had so many activities going on with their children that they needed to have a, a household calendar. And they also had so many activities with work that they needed a work calendar. I never want to get to the place in my life where I have to have two calendars. I want to be able to say, you know what, it's time to go to gymnastics. So we're headed to gymnastics. And when I get back from gymnastics, I have a client meeting and that's going to be just fine. And when I'm done with the client meeting, then it's going to be time for dinner. I like that idea. And I like that structure. I like that plan that I'm going from thing to thing and that I'm not having to try and balance or juggle both. And that's part of the reason why people want that balance, why they want that work-life balance is because they have so many things on their plate that they don't possibly have the capacity for actually handling them. And I, I really just want you to give that some consideration. I like to think of your life as a shelf. So if you've got the shelf, you can only put so many things on your shelf before it's going to be full. And you can't put anything else on the shelf. It's at capacity. And oftentimes your work fills up your shelf or it leaves a very small portion for your family. And to me, that's just not what I want. I don't want to leave a small chunk of my life for my children and for my husband. They deserve a big, big chunk of my life. They deserve as much as I have the capacity of giving them. And I want to work in my business creation activities. I want that to be, I want those to be the <clears throat> the little pebbles that fill in the cracks. I don't want them to have to be the big boulders and having my, my children fill in the cracks. So I, I want you to really, really think about that. If you run your household like a business, then you have that capacity to really intertwine all of your activities. And that's really just going to help streamline your process and make your whole family-friendly business environment a lot more productive. Next, I want you to really create some non-negotiables in your life. I had a very scary experience this week. I, on, on Monday night, my kids were sick. I didn't get a lot of sleep. So I woke up Tuesday morning and I was just exhausted. And I thought, you know what? I just can't go to the gym this morning. And I have to tell you, I haven't missed the gym once this year. Um, that is 2015. I've been I've been faithful at going my Monday through Friday, and I am loving it. But Tuesday morning, I was just spent. I had wasn't feeling well myself. My kids had been up sick all night, and I thought I'm just going to skip it. You know, I'm I'm not going to go today, and that really put me in a bad place because by Tuesday night, I thought, you know what? I have a lot of items on my to-do list. And I'd really like to get some of those items taken off. What if I skip the gym in the morning? I generally wake up at about 5 a.m. So what if I wake up at 5 and I just hit hit work, I hit my business creation activities, and I get those items checked off my to-do list? I, I decided that that would be a good plan for me. And then all of a sudden it hit me. And I was... I was frightened because that is my MO. That's what I had done in my past endeavors is I would take every spare moment that I had and fill it up with business creation. And all of a sudden I said, oh my gosh, this is not what I want. This is not what is in store for me. My lifestyle blueprint says that it is very important for me to go to the gym in the morning, working out first thing in the morning, having my meditation, having my prayer time, that is super, super valuable to me. That is a high, high priority for me. And at that moment, I realized that I have to have non-negotiables in my life. I have to say that based on the fact that this is in my lifestyle blueprint, I will never wake up early to work. I will never wake up early to do business creation activities. 
That is not what I want in my life. I want to get up and I want to have my meditation. I want to have my prayer time. I want to have my workout time. And then I want to start my day. And so I just really challenge you that if you're thinking about creating a family-friendly environment, create non-negotiables for yourself. Say, I'm going to go to each of my child's sporting activities. I'm going to go to each of their theater productions or their choir concerts or whatever it is that they're doing. I That is a non-negotiable for me. I will do that and I will be committed to that. And on the flip side, when you're talking about integration of family and business, create non-negotiables for your business. This week, I will make a certain number of phone calls. If, if you're talking about sales activities, I will do a certain number of marketing activities. I will do X, Y, and Z within my business. So create those non-negotiables for your company as well. Those are the, the, the cornerstones of a really productive environment for you. And when I talk about productive, it's not because I'm saying that you need to create more or be more or do more, but it's really just making sure that you're getting the best out of your life, that you're giving your best and that you're getting your best. And when you create those activities and those environments, you're really going to get that. You're going to get that place where you know that I am going to do this because this is what is most important to me. So I want you to really, really consider the non-negotiables. And then lastly, I want you to think about the fact that when you're creating a family-friendly environment, it really is just for a season. And I, I have several mom friends and we always talk about how kids are for a season and sometimes that's kind of challenging because in that moment you say why is why am I in this season right now why am I in this season where my toddler just took a sharpie and drew all over the wall or all over himself or you know why am I in this season where my six-year-old decides that it's a good idea to collect every stick in the backyard and bring them into the house and you know throw them all over the place you get tired of those things and you want them to pass And if you're a parent right now, you're probably dealing with a situation with your child and you're thinking, wouldn't it be great if they didn't do that anymore? (laughs) Wouldn't it be great if I could do, you know, what I want to do? And for me, I love work. I, I am passionate about what I do and I could easily work 15 hours a day and it wouldn't bother me at all. I I mean, I really could. I enjoy my business creation. I enjoy creating, um, you know, just the entrepreneurial spirit and really creating businesses, period, and everything that has to do with that. And so I could spend lots and lots and lots of time doing this. So I'm not creating this family-friendly environment for me necessarily. I'm creating it for my children. And I'm creating it because I really believe that they are are an important part of, of my life. And I am a huge part of their life. And I owe it to them to be present. I owe it to them to give them everything that I have. And, and so on my days when I really feel like, wouldn't it be great if I hired a nanny? Wouldn't it be great if I could just put my daughter in public school? It's free and it's right down the street. Wouldn't that be a terrific option? The reality is, is that's just not what I want. And that isn't, for me, that isn't giving my best. That isn't being all that I really want to be. And so I, I have to say that my children are, are young and unfortunately my son is going to be headed off to college next year. You know, my 18 year old is, is got one foot out the door, but I still have these two little ones. And, you know, so I'm in this really bizarre place where I can see that time passes very quickly. It feels like just yesterday that my 18 year old was little. And I sound so old when I say that. (laughs) I hate that. But the reality is, is time passes really, really quickly. And these two little ones, they're not going to be little forever. And I have this opportunity today to invest in them. And what's so wonderful about being an entrepreneur and what's so wonderful about quitting your job is that you have the ability to be there and to be present with them. So as much as I might like on some days to go and, you know, work in an office for 15 hours, what is most important to me is being with my children. 
I want to really kind of leave you with this lasting image too, that that you're not one person. I'm not one person and you're not one person. You're many people. You are a mom. You are a wife. You are a business owner. You are an employee. You are a child of God. You are, I mean, you're all of these things. You're a friend. You're a daughter. You're um, you're many, many things. Um, you're a husband, you're a father, you're a brother, and that's what your life is made up of. Your life is made up of all of these different components. And when you create a family friendly business, you have the ability to really integrate all of you and say that it's okay for you to do what you want to do in life and really just empower you to create that that seamless flow from activity to activity being you. Because you and I both know that when you're working in that corporate America, when you're working in that, that strict environment, you have to be there at set hours. You have to be there at eight. You have to leave at five. You have to work six days a week. You have to work 12 hours a day. It doesn't leave you time to be who you really are. So if you're thinking about creating a business and um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, that you have a deep desire to create your own company or you wouldn't be listening to this show, I'm sure you really would love to quit your job today. And I would love for you to have that opportunity to quit your job. Or if you've got a business that you started that you know is really creating the same types of chains for you that working in a job did, I want you to really, really examine what you want in life. And what I've experienced in all of my interactions with all of you know the How to Quit Working community is that really most people aren't super clear on exactly what it is that they want in life. And when you commit to what you want, it can be a little scary because you have to say, is this really what I wanted? <laughs> is this really how I thought it would play out? But but really think about what you want and get clear on it because when you know what you want, then you have the ability to create it. And I know that each and every one of you out there has the ability w- with the internet in particular to create a company that can allow you the flexibility and the freedom to either choose to work from home or to choose you know, to start your own business with a small office, maybe down the street from your house, you can create something that will allow you the freedom and the flexibility to be who you need to be and to be who you want to be. I love being at home with my family. And, you know, there's days that I feel super challenged by my children. And, you know, I really question being around them so much. But I know at the end of the day, I'm never going to regret the time that I'm spending with them. I'm never going to regret how important it has been for me to homeschool my daughter and the experiences that we've shared. I'm never going to forget how much my patience has been stretched being at home with them, um, how I'm, I'm really have to be having to examine who I am at the, at the root and my love and my compassion level and I just know that it is worth everything that I'm doing. And so if you're, you know, if you're at that place and you're really thinking about starting a business, I just really, I want, I want to challenge you to create something that is going to allow you to really, really just integrate your family, integrate your children. Um, If you don't have children, integrate your spouse. If you're not married, integrate your friends, just really creating something that allows you to have a high touch with the people around you, because that's really going to empower you to be all that you have the capacity to be. If you have thought that you would really like to, to break out of your job, if you would really like to start your own business, but you're, you're kind of confused or you feel overwhelmed by the system or the process, maybe you're really not sure what to do or what order to, you know, to do the, the business creation in, I would really love for you to give me a call, shoot me an email. Um, I, I'm a, I'm the how to quit working coach and I, I'm here for you. I would love to help you. Uh, I've got lots and lots and years and years of experience building businesses and 
I am so passionate and so excited about helping other people live their dreams. And I just, I'd really love to talk to you about it. And I'd really love to give you the um, kind of the inside scoop about how you can really take action today, how you can quit working, how you can just change the trajectory of your whole life. So if you're feeling like you're in a place and you just really feel stuck, you feel overwhelmed, you feel unsure what your next step is, and you really know that you want to change, um, or make a big change in your life. I, I just, I'd really encourage you to, you know, pick up the phone and give me a call. Um, shoot me an email because I, I am here for you, and um, I'd be more than happy to set aside a little bit of time to talk with you, um, you know, at no charge, really, just to kind of get help you get clear on what your plan is for your life and how I can help you really create the lifestyle that you want. If you have a business or you're a business owner and maybe you're feeling like you're you're challenged maybe you're at that you know $100,000 or $200,000 level and you would really like to take your company up you know maybe your goal is to get to a million dollars in revenue I can help you with that. Um, my my trade show production company um, was very near a million dollars in 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 gross revenues, and I do have the capacity of helping you really put in the infrastructure in your business so that you can create the lifestyle that you want, um, and really examine whether that business creation is truly fulfilling all of the desires that you would like it to fulfill. If you really are getting out that, um, you know, just really that energizing um, inspiration and lifestyle development out of your business that you should be getting. And if you feel like you're in a place right now where your business is just sucking you dry, then there, there's some opportunity for improvement. There's definitely some systems, some processes, and some examinations that we can do to make sure that your business is both profitable, productive, but also really, really giving you the space and the time to enjoy your life. I am so thankful that you're listening to this podcast and I hope that wherever this finds you, um, that you are really in a place where you're, you're ready to just make your life all that it can be. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining us on the How to Quit Working Show. Tune in next time when we'll talk to another amazing person just like you who is now living the ultimate life of freedom and doing it on their terms. If you want to learn how to quit working and get these episodes delivered directly to you, visit howtoquitworkingshow.com.